CCP's violent resistance to Israel is not terrorism and is a legitimate armed struggle in the midst of the escalating conflict between Israel and Hamas in Palestine. It is crucial to pay attention to the unfolding situation. Today we delve into the matter to reveal China's reaffirmed support for Hamas standing on the side of evil once again on February amid intense warfare between Israel and Palestine in Gaza. A Chinese government official Mashiming, the director general of the Department of Treaty and Law of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, delivered a speech at the International Court of Justice, siding with Palestine and Hamas. He stated that Israel's illegal occupation of Palestinian territory has persisted for 57 years. He emphasized the right of Palestinians to engage in armed struggle to resist foreign oppression and establish the state of Palestine. Mashimi underscored that Palestinians' violent resistance against Israel is not terrorism but a legitimate armed struggle. He pointed out that many countries have used armed resistance to break free from colonial rule and believed that the use of force by people under colonial rule and foreign occupation is legitimate to exercise their right to self-determination. This stance exposes China's position on the Hamas issue. Standing on the side of violence and evil, Mashamin's remarks are shocking, indicating that China's support for Palestine and Hamas is overt, even legitimizing violent actions. This stance poses a threat not only to Israel, but also stirs considerable controversy on the international stage. Israel might have perceived China as an ally, but now the truth is of China is evident. China not only manipulates situations in the Middle East, but also attempts to negate Israel's existence, which is highly dangerous behavior. This event also unveils China's long-standing support for Hamas. Israel cannot address the Hamas issue solely through military means. It must also confront China's support and intervention. Israel must recognize China's true intentions and take appropriate measures to safeguard its security and interests. Clearly there is no need for further exposition. This official statement lay bare the magnitude of the situation. On October 2, Hamas actions were deemed legal, essentially legitimizing the killing of civilians, ethnic cleansing and indiscriminate killings. Moreover, Israel's 5-year occupation is considered illegal and sovereignty over the territory belongs to Palestine. This implies that Israel must vacate the region. Its existence in this land is impermissible. Furthermore, they suggest that various means, including armed struggle, are legitimate. This indicates that such actions may continue in the future, reaffirming that the essence of the Chinese Communist Party remains unchanged. The CCP has established a warped logic of its own authority, labeling it as law, and subsequently supports all forms of evil, dictatorship, and totalitarian rule worldwide, providing them with justification for legitimacy. In the case of Israel, they unequivocally stand with Hamas. Of course, we hope they continue to be so blatant. This eliminates the need for the United States to seek evidence and Israel doesn't need further proof. Essentially, it's akin to Hitler's Nazis, claiming their actions were legal after the killings. The Nazis operated according to their own logic, which was fundamentally flawed. Moreover, let's discuss the situation with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. How did they spin it? They blame the invasion on the mistakes of the United States, citing Western NATO expansion. They disregard the unique historical and geographical sensitivities between Russia and Ukraine, leading to an uncontrollable situation. It is utterly ridiculous. This is the essence of the CCP, entwining all sorts of twisted logic, utterly 